Hello guys, good evening. My name is Dana and I am going to be your physics tutor for today. I'm sure my colleague must have taught you guys a lot about the other topics that he has taught. So I know that we have been following. Don't worry, today's class promises to be very interesting and precise. So follow me closely, okay? Now, for today's class, we will be touching kinematics. Sounds very interesting, right? I'm sure most of us must have heard of this term, kinematics. But before we introduce this concept, there are cases whereby a question is given involving the addition and subtraction of quantities having different units. I can see Miracle. Miracle, you're very welcome. You're welcome. Now, as I was saying, in physics, the addition and subtraction of physical quantities require that all quantities must be expressed in the same units before the usual rules of algebra can be applied to them. So that is why it is important to know how to convert from one unit to the other. And we can do this with the help of what we call chain link conversion method. So let's take that down. Chain link conversion method. So I don't know, maybe Miracle, Jotam, you're welcome. I can see Jotam here. Jotam, Miracle, you guys are all welcome. Someone is trying to say something. Jotam. No, thank you. Thank you. That was what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's move on. Now we're talking about how to convert one unit to another unit. I'm sure you know how to do this, but it's important we go over it again, okay? So, change the conversion method. Okay, just because you're coming in, I said my name is Dana, since I know your names already. Okay, so let's continue. So with the help of chain the conversion method, we can easily convert one unit to another basically. The procedure here is to start with the given value. Okay, so let's say you're giving a value to, as to change or to convert See, we have express 60 miles, right, per hour in terms of meters per second. Okay, now we can use conversion factors to do this. We either multiply or divide them by the appropriate conversion factor written as a ratio. Okay, so for instance, let's put that down. The appropriate conversion factor for, let's say, inches to feet. Jotam, can you help us with that? The appropriate conversion factor for inches to feet. Let's say you're asked to convert one inch to feet. Jotam? Uh, I'll write a little bit for inches. Okay, okay. Let's let me help you with that. So to convert inches to feet, you have twelve inches equal one feet. Now these are just standards. Okay, if you check your metric conversion table, you're going to see them there. These standards help scientists all over the world to be able to communicate their values wherever they find themselves. So even if you're in Canada and another person is in Nigeria, okay, you're in Nigeria and someone else is in Canada, you can easily use these standards, okay, to convert one unit to another, all right? So that's why it's needed, we know them. So they are just there to help us, okay? So now to convert minutes to hours, I'm sure you know that, right? I don't know, Miracle isn't saying anything. Okay, Jotam, can you help us? Minutes to hours. Okay. 60 minutes, right? Make what? 
Good. Yes. Okay. So, so we don't waste so much time. Let's go back to the question that we have at hand. Right. Now, to calculate this with ease, 60 miles per hour, to convert it to meters per second, we need to make our work easier. Now, this chain link conversion method is not complicated at all. All you just need to do is to make sure that what you have in the numerator is the same thing what you have in the denominator. So that when you cancel out, you're going to have or get your desired, uh, desired unit. You're going to be left with the desired unit. So if we were to do that, we have, first of all, we start with the given value, 60 miles per one hour. That is what we are asked to convert to meters per second, okay? Just, I'm hoping you are following. Marvelous just joined us. Marvelous, you're welcome. You're welcome. So, Jota, I'm hoping you're following to this point. Okay. To convert 60 miles per hour to meters per second, we can use this chain the conversion method. First of all, we put down our given value, then the appropriate conversion factor. Now, that conversion factor is simply the number that is, that helps us to change one set of units to another. Okay. So now we either multiply it, write that fact, that conversion factor as a ratio. Okay. You know, if you write 60 minutes over one second equal one, this is the same thing as 60 minutes equal one second, right? Sorry. Ah, oh, oh my goodness. Jotam, were you following? Did you see what I just did? Meaning you're not following. Hello? Okay. So, when I say writing the conversion factor as a ratio equal to 1, I mean 1 minute can be written as this 1 minute over 60 seconds. Okay? Equals to 1. You know, this is the same thing as 60 seconds make 1 minute, right? When you cross multiply. Right? So you can, so you can as well write it as a ratio. Okay? So that's what we're going to do here. Okay. So, to convert miles to meters, the appropriate conversion factor, you can check your metric conversion table. You have 1609.344 meters. Okay? So now, 1609.344 meters will make one mile. Take note of that. You can check that later. Okay? So we have one mile. We've written it as a ratio. So we're trying to convert 60 miles now. Okay? Then divided by this R here, we have how many seconds is going to make one R? This is not what we have for today. So... I will just run through it, okay? Miss Oma, you're welcome. Okay? So, we have 3,600 seconds over one hour. So, we can rewrite this as 60 miles per one hour times 1609.344. Please, if you're not following, you can draw my attention back to the point where you are lost, okay? So when you take this up, inverse law, okay, 1R over 3,600 seconds. Remember I said that to make this method easier, you have to make sure that what you have on the numerator is the same thing as what you have on the denominator, So you can cancel out, okay? So if miles cancel out miles, R cancel out R, when you solve this, are you guys with your calculator? Do see, you're welcome. I know most of you will be surprised that you're seeing a new face. Thank you. So, okay, okay. So if you do this, Jotam, are you with me? Are you calculating with me? Marvelous. Are you calculating with me? Yeah. Okay, so when you do this, when you calculate this using your calculator, you get 26.82 meter per second. So we've been able to get the answer easily with chain link conversion method. Okay? Is that understood? Is anybody there? Okay. Yes, understood. 
Okay. 